Malcolm X knew what was what. He knew what was up, and uh, that's why they killed him. Uh, he's uh, we've played, there's another video we did about uh, his insights into the election of 1964, where he said that the shrewd capitalists and the shrewd imperialists knew that nobody would vote for Johnson unless you first scared the crap out of them by bringing Goldwater, and that's what they did. They scared. He said even Marxists who called themselves enemy of the machine were on their knees waiting for a Johnson victory because they were so afraid of Goldwater and they thought it was going to mean nuclear war. And he's saying, and so now I'm saying they're doing the exact, this is, that was 64 and Hillary was a Goldwater girl. They're doing the exact same thing in 2016. Trying to scare you, Donald Trump, nuclear, nuclear. Whereas, whereas Hillary has already said nuclear option is on the table. And she wants a military response to cyber hacks by Russia. Well, let's listen to what, what else Malcolm X had to say about the electoral process, because my whole thing is you keep voting neoliberals because neoliberals talk Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton. They talk in populist language. They talk in the kind of language that traditional Democrats talk, talk in, like we'd have to stand up for workers. We have to you make it a fair tax system and the wealthy have to pay their all that stuff. They pay lip service to it. And then they turn around and pass TPP, NAFTA, gut welfare, deregulate Wall Street, kick people out of their houses, explode the prison population while sending jobs overseas, all that stuff. But they give lip service to, to, to traditional tem, dem, uh, Democratic talking points while they're doing completely right-wing Republican stuff. And so uh, here he's going to make a point. You know, my point was it's easier to oppose it when a Republican's doing it. Like Ronald Reagan could have never gutted welfare, deregulated Wall Street, and passed NAFTA like Bill Clinton did. It took a, a Democrat to do it. And so I think it's easier to oppose a Republican doing Republican things than it is to oppose a Democrat doing Republican things. Right now, Barack Obama is full-throatedly trying to push the TPP. If it was a Republican, we could have no trouble stopping it. But since it's our president, he gives cover to the other corporate don donated Democrats to go along with it. So here's what Malcolm X has to say. Let's hear what he has to say. Well, if Goldwater ever becomes president, one thing his uh, presence in the White House will do, it will make black people in America have to face up to facts probably for the first time uh, in many, many years. And this in itself is good in that it, uh, Goldwater is a man who's not capable of hiding his racist uh, tendencies. And at the same time, he's not capable of even pretending to Negroes that he's their friend. So this will have a tendency to make the Negro probably for the first time uh, do something to stand on his own feet and solve his own problem instead of putting himself in a position to be misled, misused, exploited uh, by the whites who pose as liberals only uh, for the purpose of getting the support of the Negro. So in one sense, uh, Goldwater's coming in will awaken the Negro and it will probably awaken the entire world more so than the world has been awakened since Hitler. That's pretty good stuff. I agree with it. Uh, people would say, yeah, but then Johnson went on to pass civil rights. And um, then went on to send a bunch of uh, black and brown kids to Vietnam to kill three million Southeast Asians. Um, so... I think that's a good thing, you know, like uh, Barack Obama silences the left, the progressive left, and they're organizing. He silences it, you know, Occupy Wall Street. If that was a Republican president and the cops went out and cracked heads, there'd be a lot more protesting. But Senate sits a Democratic president and Democratic mayors sending out union cops to crack the heads of peaceful protesters at the behest of Wall Street. Nobody says anything. We let it happen. He's saying that if Goldwater would have become president, it would have awoken everybody to the day. We could see it. He can't hide, just like Trump can't hide his distaste for minorities and Muslims and women. He can't hide it. You see it. Whereas Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton exploded the prison population, her and Bill Clinton, with that crime bill, exploded the prison population of black and brown people. At the same time, they were gutting welfare 
and passing NAFTA, shifting jobs out of the country. We'll take your job, send it out of the country, and send. we're going to build a new prison. You know, there's more prisons than schools in America. Well, I remember when I voted for President Obama, and I remember the motto, yes, we can. And I recall that he said that he would walk with teachers. Yeah, he's going to put on a comfortable shoe and walk with teachers. So that's what Malcolm X is saying. Now, if that was Mitt Romney, we know he's not going to walk with teachers. We know that the government isn't on their side. We know that we, well, now we have something that we can oppose. When Barack Obama comes out and says, oh, I'm, 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 and then he just lets the teachers kick, have their union stripped from them without do, lifting a goddamn finger to help them because his donors don't want him to help them. This is what he's saying. He's saying, beware of the liberals. The liberals like Hillary Clinton, not really a liberal. Be aware of those people. Because they're not really your friend. They're not on your side. They pay, just like Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, they pay fealty to you, they, to, to uh, uh, d traditional Democratic principles, and then they go right on and screw everybody with Republicans' uh, uh, policies. That's what they're doing. Um, so that reinforces my point uh, that voting for Hillary Clinton is a bad idea because uh, we need an, uh, she's going to do the horrible things that a, that a Republican would do, and I think we need a horrible face on it. She's a pretty horrible face herself, but a lot of Democrats, you see, you know, they call themselves journalists. They're just propagandists now, you know, guys over at Mother Jones and The Nation and Vox and all that. Not all of the people there, lots of them. They still do good work, at, uh, but they, they do a lot of horrible propaganda like the right wing used to do. Now we're doing it because Hillary's the death of the left. She makes good people do horrible things. Um, and that's why I think we need to have a horrible face as the president. I think, be, I think it would be much better. It's not going to happen. Hillary's going to be president. Uh. I know. Get ready. <laughs> Hillary's going to be president. Think about all the horrible crap she's going to do. Think about it. We're going to ramp up the war immediately in Syria. Right? All right, we got to go.